Hey, what's up guys? Michael Force and Fire from the Gamer Channel here today. Today I will be showing you guys how to make this nice little Rodham G wallpaper. It's uh it's got the Rodham G Knight in the middle, as you can see. I prefer the Knight class over any other class. So today I'm gonna show you guys a quick little tutorial of how to make this little thing in under 10 minutes. So just stay tuned. And yeah, uh, leave your comments below on what you think if you like more tutorials and just to let you guys know this channel will be more than just tutorials and little games and stuff. So, uh, to start out, you're going to want to create a new project. Uh, the winch should be around 1920, height around 1080, and or whatever you'd prefer with your recommended resolution size for your monitor. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Rodham G Wallpaper. I'm going to go with 72 resolution pixels an inch. You should follow this exactly. Uh, go with RGB color and 8 bit and then background contents as white. And you can just hit OK right there. We'll start out with this nice little white thing. You can download a Rodham G Knight from Google and or the link below. It'll pop up this nice little thing on the right here, like up here. You can control C it. This is a tutorial for CS6, but it does work in most other versions of Photoshop as well. And then you can just close that down after you've control C and control V that with the rectangular mask tool or whatever. Grab your little knight, hit click on him just to make sure you can change his size and you're going to want to grab the top right corner click and hold it and hold shift move it up slightly to the left and or right whatever corner you grabbed and then let go hit the little check mark up here and move him more to the center so I'm just going to get it around right there it doesn't have to be perfect then grab your recommended font I'm going to go with uh, Dodger Dodger's the font that you can download from thefonts.com in the techno area so you, I'm gonna type realm of the mad god here and I, I don't think it's really in the middle so I'm gonna move it using the control thing control key now you have this nice little basic thing but actually I'm gonna move this a little more move this <coughs> move this over a bit sorry about that and now you have your basic little layout so as you can see you're kind of on your way to making this Next, you want to grab a shade of red, blue, green, pink, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to make a red one, as you can see, like in that one. I'm going to grab a nice dark red. And I'm going to go over here to the rounded rectangle tool, where you can you pretty much just need to grab a series of random shapes. You can click hold and then hit shift to make perfect squares of your choice. I'm going to make rounded squares. You can do this with circles, other squares, triangles, pentagons, octagons, whatever you like. But so you can just uh, grab a bunch of nice little squares, nice little rounded squares, throw them all together. Hmm. Just give me a little more time and I guess we're gonna have to settle for that. So now you have this nice little, you have all these 22 uh, shapes if you did the, uh, what I did here. So then you can just click on the top one, hold, hit, hit shift, scroll all the, well hold shift, go all the way down and uh, scroll, yeah, go all the way down, click the other one or right click the other one and hit merge shapes. Then I'm just going to rename this because I like to name things and I name this rounded shapes. As you can see I try to name most of my layers and then I'm going to name this bottom G Knight. There you go. So now you have this nice little basic thing. Then you want to click on background layer. And then what I did here with my gradients is that I have, I click, if you click on the third one, black and white, you hit OK. This should stay black. You want to click on this one. Next, you want to click on the bottom right, stop. I'm going to go all the way down here and select a dark gray. So as you can see, it gets a little bit darker as you, uh, a little bit lighter as you progress from left to right. And then you want to grab this specific little middle thing here. Place them anywhere in the middle of your night or anywhere else in your canvas. And then let go. So now you've generated the general look. On the other one, it's a little bit darker, more like this. But this is what you have now. Now, if you'd like to change it a little bit, you can also texturize it. So, if you'd like to texturize it, what I recommend is flattening the image using right clicking it and flattening. Flatten it. I don't know if this you have to do this, but if you use the rectangular mouse tool, you can click your entire image and everything on it. Go to filter, filter gallery, 
go to texturizer or go to textures. There's a ton of different things you can do. If you don't, if, if you want to get a texture to look like a rug or a carpet, you can have that. There's this little stain to it. it actually, looks kind of cool, but also creepy a little bit. So now, now there's that. There's patchwork, so it's all like uh, pixel and made of little squares. This crusty thing, which also makes the text look pretty cool as well. Grain and mosaic tile. Glowing edges. I don't know if you like that. It's a little bit more uh, sci-fi fictiony, but it does look alright. This is you don't have to do this. You can just leave it as is if you don't want. Uh, you click on water paper. Water paper doesn't look half bad, but it also makes it harder to see the sides. You can go to torn edges. These ones don't. These ones don't work too well with it. Uh, this one is alright, I guess. And really, these are just recommendations. You don't have to use any of these if you don't want. This one again also looks kind of nice. The text, as you can see, is still there. Remember the Mad God. You got this little black outreach where it slowly gets out and fades. The store has a couple good ones. You have this little glass one right here. The diffuse glow makes it look like a glowing thing in the center. And here's the one I'd recommend the most. It is called Sumai E. You have your nice little fictiony look here. The text is a little bit harder to read, but this is Realm of the Mad God, as I'm sure you already know. You can go to Sprayed Strokes, again, looks amazing. Dark Strokes, uh, pretty cool, but the text is hard to see. Ink Outlines, again, alright. And you can just check these out as you go. So I'm going to leave it as this one, but thank you for watching this quick little Photoshop tutorial, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Not only will there be tutorials and other stuff, but we're going to have playthroughs, walkthroughs, some game reviews and stuff like that. So what you want to do here is when you go to save all, you can save it to your desktop. You're going to want to click JPEG and name it as whatever you want. So thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more coming soon. Have a great day guys. Later.